question is, what would it take to have a CRA west of 95? It's a good question. To have a CRA west of 95, you need to have, the CRAs are complicated issues. You gotta have the city involvement, the county involvement, and state involvement. The CRA, in order to create a CRA, the city and the state have to declare that an area is a blighted area. And there are certain requirements that have to be met. One of the benefits, and, and one of the reasons people want a CRA, is because just like down on the beach, all the tax dollars to the CRA stay in the CRA, and all that money helps to redevelop that particular area. So people say, well, let's create a CRA in every part of the city, which one would make Hollywood the only entire blighted city in Broward County, and I'm not sure I would necessarily want to go there. But one of the other solutions is to look at how do we sunset the current CRA? What steps do we take to make sure that the current CRA goes away as quickly as possible so that tax dollars flow into the general coffers of the city, the general fund of the city, so we can start spending those tax dollars out here. Recently, the city commission voted to give $37 million to Margaritaville to help develop Margaritaville. Now, one of the things they could have done was turn to the private sector and say, look, you want to put a hotel on our beach? Great. But you pay, I'll finish with my next answer. <laughs> That's absolutely right. To get a CRA, uh, Going to be near impossible. The county's not going to want to give up the money. The state's not going to want to, you know, they have their own problems trying to financially. Um, so you have to go to the next step. Is that, and the, the beach CRA is going to be phased out in about 15 years. And they really need to uh, start getting that, their, their coffers built up because they're going to have massive infrastructure improvements coming soon. The Barry Island has, is over 40, their plumbing and infrastructure is over 40, 50 years old. That's about the site expectancy, so they're going to be spending a lot of money there, as well as the Margaritaville project, which there's pros and cons to Margaritaville project. I see, I know the cons, but I also see those pros, so I'm going to stay off that issue. Um, but, there's, but the basic question was how to get a CRA to West Hollywood. I don't think it's feasible. Um, it's better to look at new other solutions, like uh, to try to uh, redevelopment and bring in the bring in the tax base. That's our best way of. Uh, getting more money into the general fund and out by city. Again, uh, we are agreeing on the fact that it is virtually impossible, um, you know, although we've tried to get a CRA for, for this area and especially for 441. So our main hope for our area here is the widening of 441 and the fact that when it's widened, and it will go all the way to the alley and developers will come in to the areas where there are um, rentals, mobile home parks there, and they'll come in and they'll bring in new business and they'll buy out those, those, th uh, those uh, mobile homes and, and rentals. Uh, the fact is, is that when we send our tax money, our, you know, our, our tax bill back to Broward County, Broward County then, the tax collector, divides that money up. And if 30% goes to Broward County, then the, the uh, uh, hospital district gets its share and the school board gets its share and whatever. So what comes back to Hollywood is about 40%. So what happens when you have a CRA, almost 100% of that money comes back to your city, but it stays in that area where the CRA is. 